Hey hi and welcome back I hope that you are enjoying this training So in previous video we completed the introduction to DXF file and I hope that now you have a good clarity about the DXF file okay and uh, in this video we are going to start with the component placement planning so in this video you will get to know the approach that you should use you know when you do the component placement of any of your project or product okay so that being said now let's start with this video which is about component placement planning so uh, when you start with the component placement then you know uh, you may come across two different scenarios the first one could be related to uh, you know when you have the dxf file so that's basically the first scenario and the second scenario is you don't have the dxf file so i will explain you uh, in both the cases what approach we use you know when we create the layout for our design okay and we have already discussed a lot about the dxf file and how we need to use the dxf file in order to create the layout so quickly i will walk you through this particular case and later we will jump to this one okay so now let's start with this case so you already know that this is how basically the dxf file uh, look like and in our case this is actually the dxf file we are going to use this dxf file in order to create uh, our layout okay and i told you that you are going to get this particular dxf file from the mechanical design engineer and with this D dxf file he is actually trying to tell you uh, where you have to keep uh, most important components on the uh, pcb okay so from this dxf file we get to know that the mounting hole should be here here then all the four mounting holes should be at the corners of the pcb then uh, there should be dc jack here then there should be the position uh, the connector should be placed here so based on the location of all these uh, important components we have to do considering these information we have to do the layout in our design okay or we have to create the pcb and based on the location of uh, these components we have to uh, place the respective section at the respective location for example uh, this is actually the connector uh, or this is actually the dc female jack uh, through which we are going to power to our system so this is actually the part of power supply so whatever ic we are using uh, for power supply or whatever components which are connected to that particular ic all those components will be placed there uh, near this particular connector okay in the same way these uh, connectors uh, are actually uh, part of motor driver section so motor driver section or the motor driver ic should be placed in this particular region okay in the same way this is a seven segment display so the ic for seven segment display should be placed in this particular lo uh, location okay so based on uh, you know based on the important components you have to actually arrange your layout and accordingly you have to place all the components on your layout okay so once you have you know whenever you have the dxf file uh, the uh, you know the work becomes a lot easy because you don't have to position the different uh, components or different blocks in your uh, layout but when you have when you don't have the dxf file then you have to take the decision from the scratch okay so i will show you now how exactly we place the components when we don't have the dxf file okay so now let's go ahead so when you don't have the dxf file in that case what do you have to do uh, actually you don't have you, you 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 will not have the pcb also because the pcb is not yet created so just for the reference purpose i have actually included the image of the pcb here so when you don't have the dxf file and you are the only layout design engineer and all the decisions you have to take on your own so let's consider that this is actually the scenario now in this case what you have to do you have to uh, first of all uh, decide how exactly is going to be the dimension whether it will be rectangular or whether it will be a square okay i'm talking about the dimension of pcb and based on after finalizing the dimension of your pcb what you have to do you have to actually uh, you have to actually divide the that dimension in the different blocks and how many blocks will be there in that area it actually depends on the number of sections which are there in your design okay for example in our case there is a power supply section there is a motor driver section then seven segment display section is there controller section is there so there are actually multiple sections okay total eight sections are there in our design and that's the reason in this particular 
rectangular layout what i have done i have actually divided this particular layout uh, in eight different sections and based on uh, you know based on the priority uh, you have to place uh, a respective section at the respective location okay so now i will show you how we decide what section should be placed at what location uh, in this particular area okay so generally you know i start with the power supply section so whenever we have to place the power supply section what we do uh, we actually place uh, the power supply section at one of the corner okay so there is actually reason behind that i will talk about those reasons in a moment so you can choose any of the corner of uh, this entire uh, layout and uh, you can allot that particular corner for the power supply section so you can choose this corner you can choose this corner so whichever corner you want to choose you can choose that particular corner and based on you know uh, based on uh, the location of power supply section accordingly you will have to do the changes in the layout or accordingly you will have to place the rest of the sections okay now why the power supply section is generally at the edge of the pcb i will tell you generally you know in case of power supply section there will be connector and whenever we have the connector we try to place the connector at the edge of the pcb okay and that's actually one of the reason uh, why uh, the power supply section will be uh, there on the edge of the pcb and uh, you know if you try to place the power supply section at the center then uh, still the circuit is actually going to work but the point is while doing the layout you know you are going to face lot of complexity so it's better you select one of the edge of the pcb or one of the corner of the pcb and you dedicate it you dedicate that particular section uh, to the power supply section okay so in our case i am dedicating this part uh, okay this part for the psu so i'm just going to write psu here and here there will be connector uh, for the power supply and rest of the parts of the power supply section we can place uh, in this particular uh, region okay so we ha we have dedicated this particular region for the power supply section okay then the next important section is microcontroller okay so how you will decide where you should place the microcontroller section you know generally you know uh, most of the time the controller will be surrounded by different peripherals like in our case uh, controller is actually connected to motor driver then preset then the switches then seven segment display then led section okay rgb led section so there are multiple peripherals which are connected around this microcontroller so based location generally for the microcontroller is actually the center so most of the time you will find that the controller is actually going to be in the center because once you place the controller in the center then it becomes a lot easy to connect the rest of the peripherals uh, from the controller uh, to that particular peripheral i mean it becomes a lot easy to connect or do the connection from the controller to rest of the peripherals that's the reason most of the time you will have to place uh, the controller uh, at the center of the pcb so let's consider that we are placing uh, the controller at the center uh, you can also place uh, the controller at one of the edge of the pcb it's fine or you can place it at any other end but unnecessary that will actually increase the complexity of the layout so you have to check which uh, which position suits the best for your layout and accordingly you will have to place the controller uh, in that particular region okay so i'm dedicating this part uh, to the controller so i'm just going to write here mcu now once uh, the controller section is done later uh, you can you can actually go towards the peripherals so we have different peripherals in our design like motor driver is there uh, seven segment display is there rgb is there so one by one you will you can actually uh, place uh, or you can uh, allot the position for different uh, sections which are present in our design now again in our case the motor driver section is actually going to have the connectors so the best position for the motor driver section is going to be the edge of the pcb so you can place the motor driver connectors at this edge you can place it here you can place it here you can place it wherever you want but the point is you have to check uh, from which edge the connection towards the microcontroller is direct okay so for example let's say that the connection towards the microcontroller uh, from the motor driver section is from this side then it's better to place the motor driver connectors in this region okay so it will be a direct connection from the controller towards the uh, motor driver section so that will actually reduce the complexity so placement should be actually in such way that it should reduce the complexity 
of the layout okay so remember that point so we are dedicating this particular part or this this particular region uh, for the motor driver section and now we are done with psu microcontroller and uh, motor driver section so i will just write mtr here and now let's uh, uh, consider this uh, a bigger section which is seven segment display so always remember you you do the placement of bigger sections first like motor driver then uh, seven segment display and later you can move towards the uh, smaller section because they are not going to take much space on the pcb now again if you have a fixed position for the seven segment display uh, on your design then you you will have to place uh, the seven segment display in that particular region but if you don't have a specific uh, uh, location for the seven segment display then you can place actually the seven segment display wherever you want but uh, in our case now that we have dedicated this region for power supply this region is for motor driver this region is uh, for microcontroller so the base region is going to be this entire region for the seven segment display but again you have to check which region has the maximum area because as you can see in this pcb uh, the seven segment display is actually going to take a lot of space on the pcb so considering that you have to take the decision which location for the seven segment display will be more appropriate because along with the seven segment display there is a seven segment display driver ic also and we have to place this particular ic near to that seven segment display so considering this point you will have to allot the region for the seven segment display okay so i'm considering this particular region for the seven segment display but it's not like you should place it here only uh, you you just have to check on your uh, design uh, rough design where the more space you are getting and accordingly you have to allot that particular region for the seven segment display okay so i hope this point is clear to you now we are done with psu motor driver microcontroller seven segment display and uh, then we are left with uh, the rgb led section debug slash programming header then preset then reset and so uh, user input switch button now where these all sections will be placed it actually depends on the connection now in this case if you see the connection from this controller uh, the pins of this uh, controller is actually direct towards uh, this region so you can actually place you know rgb led in this region so if you try to place the rgb led in this region then what will happen the connections which are going towards this uh, seven segment display driver ic they are going to interfere with the connections of rgb led so you have to check which position is vacant and accordingly you can allot that particular region for the rgb led section okay so i hope this is clear so this is going to be the rgb led section and then uh, accordingly for rest of the sections which are small small sections like debug slash programming header then preset user input switch and reset accordingly based on the uh, you know uh, based on the direct connection you can allot uh, that particular position for the rest of the section for example in our case uh, this location is actually more appropriate uh, for this uh, programmer slash debug header it's because the connection from this side of microcontroller is actually direct towards the programming slash debug header in the same way the connection from uh, preset towards the controller is direct here that's why it's better to place the preset in this region so accordingly you will have to place rest of the sections uh, on your pcb I hope that this is clear and this is basically the way uh, to place the components on your PCB. First of all, you have to uh, decide what will be the dimension, not dimension, exact, di not I'm, I'm not talking about the exact dimension. You just have to estimate how exactly the PCB is going to be look like, uh, whether it will be rectangular or whether it will be a square PCB. And accordingly, based on the number of sections that you have in your design, uh, you can divide your PCB in multiple regions and accordingly you can dedicate a specific region for the section and you already know we have already discussed how you take the decision and how you allot the specific region uh, for a particular section and you know this component placement actually becomes a lot complicated once you go for a uh, higher number of pcbs or when you are dealing with uh your different types of pcbs uh, i'm not because this this particular pcb is actually very simple this is very uh, simple PCB. It's not even high speed PCB. When you deal with the high speed uh, PCB, when you deal with uh, multiple uh, voltage domains, when you deal with uh, multiple uh, frequency circuits, when you are dealing with the RF circuit, when you are dealing with the multiple uh, mixed signal circuits, in that case, you know, 
the placement actually becomes even more complicated and you will have to follow multiple rules in that case but this much information that we discussed it's actually more than enough for you know in order to create the layout of this kind of uh, design okay so i hope that the component placement part is now crystal clear to you and uh, if you still have any kind of doubt uh, related to the component placement then definitely you can reach to me and i will help you with that okay all right so that's what i wanted to tell in this video now i will see you in the next video which is about component placement part 1 so in next video we will start with the component placement and we will place each and every section one by one okay so i will see you in the next video now